Hi folks, 17th of June, 17th of June. I'm just here doing a bit of white slip work. Yeah, just uh, some little tea bowls, not tea bowls, little bowls you saw me doing. So what is Hakami? Hakami white slip. It's basically, it, it's, a, it's just a process of applying white slip onto the outside of a, a pot, you know. Um, I do it from time to time. Uh, sometimes I feel it works better than other times. And um, basically, we put a uh, like a, a clear a clear glaze over the top, and then an iron oxide oxide decoration on top of that. It's quite fun. Anyway, let's. Let's have a go, see if I'm any good. <laughs> Let's drop this down a little bit. So I've got in my in my bucket here. This is this is can you see the the, the consistency of that? It's not real real. It's like very very thick cream, isn't it? So we're going to use that and we're going to do that and then I'm going to, we're going to go inside do a bit of throwing. I want to use those, um, those shells I think I showed you yesterday. So this is a, a brush I use when I do this sometimes. It's, um, you can see it's like two brushes in one. A uh, finer brush here, and then a coarse, a coarse brush here. It's actually a corn broom. So I take the pot. I'm going to just try. I'm not sure actually if this is a little bit on the thick side, but. Never mind, we're going to start. We're just going to drag this across the outside like that. This is really kind of employing the the contrast between the white the white of the white slip and the clay body underneath and by dragging these coarser bristles through it we create a, a bit of a contrast It takes me a while when I do this to sort of get into the flow of doing it, to do, sort of discover what I like. So we do that like that. Now then I'm going to take this, this is a, a, a regular cheap cheapo brush, but I've taken a pair of scissors and I've cut the end of the bristles so they're kind of jagged. And I'm going to do a Where's my spray bottle gone? Oh well. I'm going to do uh, with this brush, just on the inside here, a sort of broad sweep. So they're rather loosely done. It looks pretty loose, Simon. <laughs> looks about like it's about to fall off. Hang on, let's get my spray bottle in. Whoa! 
get my water spray. Okay, we're over there. My water spray bottle walked somebody. It, it, it's helpful just to just sometimes just douse these with water. Um, ahead of time. Okay, where were we? A lot of things, factors here come into play, like the thickness of the slip, for example. So if I apply the slip and then leave it so it dries on the surface, the bristles here can't drag through. They, they don't... You've got to get them so that they pull all the way through to the clay underneath. I really need to sort of do that, sit down and do quite a few of these before I discover what I really like and what I, do, you know, and what I don't like. This brush is shedding it's bristles, I think. Okay, let me just show you that. So, sometimes I debate to myself, shall I do something on the inside as well, or just do the outside? Ah, oh, I'm in undecided. But, Maybe I'll use this smaller brush. You, you you have to be a bit bold when you do this. You can't be you can't be too timid, you know. Well, actually, what what we're doing, we're sort of providing a backdrop for for the for what will be the decoration later on so sometimes it's nice to clean things away sometimes it, it, it's okay to leave them you know just have an open mind about that don't just sort of feel that you've got to All right, uh, just a couple that I just wanted to do with you just to show you. Um, I've got some other things to show you here actually. And then we'll go inside. These are some tea bowls I did. which I, I want to do more of. Actually, I wanted to get a... I was going to get a... Um, I've got my, my young apprentice here who's helping me today. Hi, Owen. How are you doing? Good. You're doing a bit better now? A little bit. Keep That's it in at the top. Don't let it get too wide at the top. Always got to bear that in mind. Keep it in at the top. So, just going to bring this in here. And get it up a bit. Sorry folks, my video is not very high tech. 
They're not very slick, you know what I mean? That's all right, Simon, that's why we like them. <laughs> all right, so I showed you yesterday, didn't I, some of these, these shells. So I thought, let's do a couple of tea bowls using those, those shells. I've also got a piece of an old hair comb here which I may, I may use as well. All right, let's do it. Okay, so the plan is we're just gonna throw, throw a tea bowl. It's always nice, isn't it, to look around, find stuff that you can use to impress into the side of a pot to leave an impression, because clay, Loves to be impressed, doesn't it? Yeah, if you're interested in the workshop, give us a shout. We're running in-person workshops here. Um, dates are on the website. Um, I'm taking orders on leech treadle wheels. This wheel I'm working on now. Something like that. I'm going to use this throwing stick just to remove some of the throwing rings there as they will be in competing. But I, I'm thinking about, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I was thinking about just doing a bit of combing. I'm not quite sure whether to do the combing beforehand and then. Maybe I won't. So I'm going to take one of these shells. This is a smaller one. And I'm going to take it and impress it into the side of the pot like that. I'm going to do it in multiple places. Sort of a freehand way, you know. You have to do do things more than once sometimes just by to discover what you really like may not be apparent at first what you really like. You may just need to do it a few times. You're going to get a real seaside feel here. Okay, let's um, let's bring down the camera. Are you alright? Yeah, I was watching. Sorry. You're watching? Okay. <laughs> That's allowed. Okay, so look, you can see what it looks like right now. And of course, the top is a little bit bent out of shape. But what we're gonna do is we're going to straighten it out. We're gonna straight, oh, we need a top light on here, don't we? Top light. Okay. So what we'll do now is, have you seen me do this before? The first thing you want to do is straighten the top of the pot. And I usually just have a finger here like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down on the inside 
below here, starting at the bottom and slowly just just expand the form. You don't want to do it too fast. Uh, what I mean is the expanding of the form, do it gradually, allow a few times, you know. A few runs up the inside to widen it, fill it. And what do you reckon, Owen? Do you like do you like that one? I think that's actually one of the best yet. You do you like it? Yeah. It's funny, you know, and you sort of, as, as I said, you know, you've got to do things a few times. If you just do them once, you, you have to just do them a few times. This actually at the top here serves a double purpose, you know, because I'm, I'm holding my finger there like that. which So as I'm expanding it, it stops the top from opening. But at the same time, it gives you a lip rest there, you see where, because it's naturally slightly, slightly flaring out, isn't it? And that just meets your lip very nicely when you come to be careful when you're doing expanded work like this you don't expand it too much you then end up the pot sometimes just can't stand it and just collapses all right so um, just going to clean that out like that. We'll take a throwing stick here, just at the base, just as a just to stick it there. This, of course, will be trimmed afterwards. And now we'll leather it. Do me a favour, just get me one of those round bats underneath at the end of the table there. Thanks. The wooden ones or yeah, a wooden a wooden one, yes, big enough. Yeah, a bigger one than that if you could. See if you can find a bigger one, just a more regular size one. Yeah, that'll work. So let's put that there. Show it to the folks. I don't know if that's coming out because of the light. It's... I'll show you anyway afterwards. You see here, Owen. You see that there. See that. See what's happening there. Mm -hmm. It's it's beginning to. It's like a. It's like a crease mark. It's like it's trying to. It's just trying to open up there. Let's put that down there. Alright, uh, we'll do another one. Somebody's got their motorbike out. I think that was actually quite successful. Yeah, what was I saying, folks? Uh, yes, I am taking orders on these leech treadle wheels. We are having another batch made. I've sold a couple. I may be buying one myself. If anybody else is interested, write to me. Or call me on the telephone. Whoa, so I mean, that's a bit old fashioned. We don't do that anymore. Well, you better start doing it. Because I don't text. <laughs> I like the phone. Let's start a trend. Let's get back to the telephone and real conversations. So. Dee 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 dee.
So yeah, don't have the wheel going around too fast when you're doing this thing. Kind of work. Uh, when I say this kind of work, I mean tea bowls. Just general tea bowls. I'll take this guy. Remember, always wet your... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just... Okay, there he is. All right, let's take that shell. And make marks. We are mark makers. So you could put your hand on the inside like that, okay? Opposite where you're gonna push. Now, th what you're seeing me use today here is a seashell. But you can be using anything that you find. I was just talking to Owen earlier and I was saying, yeah, those uh, walnuts, you know, those black walnuts when they split in two and open, they've got like a characteristic pattern. You could use one of those. In fact, I meant to get one before this video to demonstrate it, but I forgot, but never mind. That's all right, don't worry about it. Thanks, so for the, the offer, but I'd, it's okay. Time is of the essence now. Uh, okay, so we're going to put that there like that, and we're going to use this guy. We're just going to push, push in and push in. And push in and push in. And push in and push in. So you've got to have something to push against. That's why I have my hand there. Got to have that. So now, carefully at the top here, first bring the top back to round, okay, then create, let me just bring the camera down so you can see that, because I know that you're all going to be itching to do this, aren't you? <laughs> so you can see here, this is going to be like a lip breast. All right, let's put this back on the tripod. Just finish this off quickly. Gosh, I don't know how much time we've done on this clip already. Okay, so now wet my hand on the inside, starting at the bottom here. Start to expand the form. Slowly, don't don't take don't do it too much to start with. Beautiful day here. How's that looking? Pretty good. We'll just use the trim tool just to give it a token sticking at this stage of the game because that's all you need to do. Uh, later on, we'll be trimmed. Okay, put him on the on the wearboard there. On the back. Give him a little a little joggle underneath. There it is. Let's take these outside and have a look because inside here the lighting is a bit 
So there they are. The one on the left there, if you can look carefully in the middle, you see it's it's just trying to open there a bit, but it'll be fine. Okay, so these will be these will be trimmed probably quite soon because it's they could, could look quite nice, couldn't they, with uh, with wood ash sprayed over the outside. Anyway, have a go at doing doing that. Have a go at doing some some hackamy. Good fun. These are some ones that I did yesterday using that bigger shell, that bigger seashell, just to show you. All right, these are completed now. These are these are finished. That's the one I told you that had the lines on it. Okay. All right, folks, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. I didn't tell you the white slip recipe is actually porcelain clay, 85% and 15% custard felspar, okay? This guy. Just so you know. And then just take brushes, make them up, get a corn broom, you know, one of these, cut it about. You can see I've done this and duct tape them together. Be creative. Be creative. Okay. I think. Owen, are we ready to say goodbye to these people? What do we say to everybody? Oh, I think we say keep practicing. We do. We say keep, keep practicing. practicing. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. We're, we're a little bit crazy here. Okay. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.